Hi, I'm Karen Hodgins, Kids Personal Finance Educator, and I'm going to talk to you today about kids and holiday spending. Now, since we're going to be spending money on our kids anyway this holiday season, why not spend it on gifts that teach kids about money? Specifically, how to save, share, spend, and invest their money wisely. And I'm going to start with the young kids, the, the preschool, kindergarten, first graders. And we all grew up with one of these, right? our piggy bank. Um, this these, uh, It's a great tool to teach kids how to save money. I actually prefer um, jars that are see-through because kids can see their money grow this way. And I could, this is actually, I made this, um, but a company that sells these commercially is the Money Mammals, and they sell three of them, a save, share, and spend jar. And I like them because one, they're see-through, and two, they've got these nice wide lips at the top that you can easily take off, and kids can dump their money out and sort and classify and do all those um, money things as well. Um, speaking of the Money Mammals, they have other products as well. They just started their series of books for this young set of kids and as you can see they're beautifully illustrated. This one happens to teach kids about how to set goals. Um, they have DVDs using these same fun characters and uh, music CDs and there's another company that has music CDs as well. It's called It's a Habit and they have a series of um, CDs and I really like this CD because it's filled with a, um, a genre of, of uh, music styles, exposes kids to different kinds of music as well. So and they all, every song teaches kids healthy saving spending um, habits. Okay, so when you move up into the middle school, um, upper elementary, middle school, um, you know, I, I, I'm a big believer in using literature to jumpstart conversations with kids. And one of my favorite books is Alexander Who Used to Be Rich Last Sunday, a very cute book. And it, it brings up topics like needs versus wants and setting personal financial goals. There's a lot of arithmetic that kids can do in this book as well. But this is a great way to jumpstart that money conversation um, that you should be having with your kids. And those middle schoolers also really like to act grown up. And one way that they do that, can do that, is by the gift of a wallet or a purse. Kids love these. Um, they like to put their student ID in there and their gift cards. Um, I am a big believer in kids using real money okay, to learn money management skills. Okay, It's tangible, it's hands-on. It's one thing to have money on a debit card that's very abstract. It's another thing to use a real thing. Kids tend to be very um, careful about how they spend their money that way. So here's another great gift. Okay. Um, and another thing that I like that I uh, am going to recommend is um, we're a big uh, board game family. The Game of Life is one of my favorites because it's actually exactly that, the Game of Life. It needs to be updated, um, but it teaches kids things like um, professions and paying taxes and buying houses and getting married and expenses and auto insurance and what happens when your car breaks down and the stock market and a whole bunch of different things. And, and again, it's a great way to begin those money conversations um, with your kids, tie it to real life. Another thing that you can do with those uh, middle school and high school kids is begin teaching them about investing. Now here is a stock. It's a stock of Microsoft. It's, it's It was a gift to, to my son. Um, you don't need to get this gift certificate. Actually, it's very pricey to do that. You can just buy um, stocks. You can go to sharebuilder.com. It's a great way to do that. And uh, it's also their fees are pretty low. But buy it in a company that your child is familiar with. Um, they get more excited about that. And show them the power of compound interest. I have another video on that. Um, uh, and it gets them really excited about saving their money um, and, and uh, introduces them to the time value of money. If you want to pool a lot of their uh, interests into a mutual fund, there are kid-friendly mutual funds like uh, the Young Investor Fund uh, through Moneta. And uh, they pool companies like um, Microsoft and Apple and eBay and, and uh, McDonald's and companies that kids are familiar with into a mutual fund. That's what a mutual fund is. And uh, um, uh, so, so it rates, relates directly to them. And another really good mutual fund for kids, too, is the Vanguard 500 Index. Over time, it's done um, really well. Okay, so I'm going to also recommend for you parents and grandparents my book. Ways for Richness. It is a guide um, to help you teach personal finance to your kids. Um, it's filled with lots of activities and ideas and great conversation starters. Um, I also share a daily kids and money tip on my Raised for Richness Facebook page, so you can join me there as well. Um, 
and uh, um, wishing you all the best this holiday season as you um, hopefully buy your kids uh, gifts with a financial twist and get them on the road to being saving, saving savvy and money smart. Happy holidays.